According to army sources, Indian troops stationed in Sudan, as part of a UN peacekeeping mission defeated their Chinese counterparts in an impressive tug-of-war match. The moment was caught on camera and went viral, showcasing the troops' amazing camaraderie and spirit of competition. Indian forces proved their power and resolve in a remarkable victory over the Chinese contingent, showcasing their physical prowess and camaraderie. It was a lively competition that was also friendly. Officials from the Indian Army have verified the viral video, which has received a lot of attention. United Nations mission in the Sudan are to support the implementation of the Comprehensive Peace Agreement, to perform certain functions relating to humanitarian assistance, protection, promotion of human rights, and to support the African Union mission in Sudan. A high-level French team is expected to arrive here on May 30th, marking a critical milestone in the contract negotiations between the governments of India and France over the purchase of 26 Rafale Marine fighter planes, which is valued at over 50,000 rupees crore. According to defense industry officials speaking to news outlets, the French side will meet with their Indian counterparts in the defense ministry to start formal discussions over the fighter jet agreement for the Indian Navy, which would see the aircraft operated from both of the force's aircraft carriers. The French team will include officials from their defense ministry and industry including original equipment manufacturers Dassault Aviation and Thales, the officials said. The Indian side would include members from the Defense Acquisition Wing and the Indian Navy. In December of last year, France responded to India's tender for the purchase of 26 Rafale Marine fighters for the aircraft carriers INS Vikrant and INS Vikramaditya of the Indian Navy. France had sent its reply to India's letter of acceptance to New Delhi. According to them, the Indian side has thoroughly examined the French bid for the Indian agreement, taking into account the contract's other specifics as well as the aircraft's commercial offer or pricing. Since this is a government-to-government -government contract, India would now have to negotiate hard with French officials. India's second nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarine SSBN, INS Aragat, is about to go into service. It is anticipated that this momentous breakthrough will occur by the end of 2024, nearly seven years after being launched in November 2017 at the Indian Navy Shipbuilding Center SBC, in Visakhapatnam, INS Aragat will be formally integrated into the Indian Navy. The Aragat boasts impressive dimensions, with a length of 111.6 meters, a beam of 11 meters, and a draft of 9.5 meters. It has a displacement of 6,000 tons. The vessel is powered by an 82.5 megawatts pressurized light water reactor, LWR, developed with Russian assistance, enabling it to achieve a top speed of 24 knots while submerged in 10 knots on the surface. One of India's three SSBN launches is Aragat. July 2009 saw the launch of the first NS Arihant, which was put into service in August 2016. The third ship, whose name is still pending, was launched in November 2021. India's strategic deterrent capabilities, which improve the nation's maritime security and defense preparedness, are greatly enhanced by these submarines. With the aim of strengthening its air defense capabilities and encouraging self-sufficiency, Hindustan Aeronautics Limited has produced 15 RD-33 engines in-house for the Indian Air Force to equip its MiG-29 UPG fighter jets. This quick delivery, which occurred just one month after the IAF signed a Rs. 5,300 crore contract, demonstrates the force's dedication to modernizing and prolonging the MiG-29 fleet's service life till 2037. The performance and longevity of the MiG-29 UPG aircraft, a modified variant of the MiG-29 that has been an IAF mainstay, are anticipated to be greatly improved by the RD-33 engines. This program supports India's goals of developing indigenous manufacturing capabilities, lowering reliance on foreign suppliers, and indigenizing defense equipment. The IAF's decision to prolong the MiG-29's operational lifespan until 2037 demonstrates the aircraft's ongoing significance and worth in the nation's air defense policy. With improvements in avionics, armament systems and engine performance, the MiG-29 UPG will continue to be a formidable and adaptable fighter jet for many years to come, thanks to the upgrade effort. The first warship for the Indian Navy to be developed and built domestically in more than 30 years, Hindustan Shipyard Limited HSL, accomplished a noteworthy milestone on May 27, 2024, when it successfully completed its initial sea trials. Following her maiden journey, the diving support vessel DSV, as of yet unnamed but known as Nister, made her way back to the HSL jetty with no significant issues. This achievement marks a pivotal moment for HSL, reaffirming its capabilities in warship construction and contributing significantly to the National Atmanirbhar Bharat Initiative. The DSV is the first of two vessels in the project, with the second named Nipun, 
Both were launched simultaneously in September 2022 and boast a remarkable 80% indigenous content. The DSVs have sophisticated diving systems and are built to operate helicopters. The Indian Navy's operational preparedness and reaction capabilities in the Indian Ocean region would be improved by these vessels, which will be essential for deep sea diving operations, search and rescue missions, and prolonged patrolling. The much-awaited B-21 Raider, a nuclear stealth bomber of the next generation, has been shown off in flight with the first images provided by the U.S. Air Force. Captured during continuous flight testing at California's Edwards Air Force Base, the photos highlight the aircraft's sophisticated features and elegant appearance. Andrew Hunter, Assistant Secretary of the Air Force for Acquisition, said that the B-21 is developing according to schedule and is set to become a mainstay of the American Air Force's bomber fleet. The aircraft's efficacy and distinctive qualities are determined in large part by the results of the flying testing. The newly released images depict the B-21 soaring above the clouds and maneuvering above the runway, highlighting its impressive agility and stealth technology. Designed to carry both nuclear and conventional weapons, this versatile bomber is also capable of flying without a crew on board. The B-21 uses stealth technology, akin to that of the F-22 and F-35 fighters, to reduce its radar signature and make it harder for enemies to identify. Because of its open systems architecture, cutting-edge technology may be quickly integrated, guaranteeing the aircraft's effectiveness even as threats change. Former Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif acknowledges that Pakistan broke the 1999 peace agreement with India. Nawaz Sharif, the former Prime Minister of Pakistan, acknowledged on Tuesday that Islamabad had violated a 1999 deal with India. Six years after being declared ineligible by the nation's Supreme Court, Sharif took over as the leader of the ruling party during a meeting of the PMLN General Council. This is when his revelation took place. The agreement mentioned by Sharif was the Lahore Declaration, which he and then-Indian Prime Minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee signed on February 21, 1999, with the goal of fostering peace and stability between India and Pakistan. However, shortly after the signing Pakistani troops infiltrated the Kargil district in Jammu and Kashmir, leading to the Kargil War. With the next LEX-3 mission, the Indian Space Research Organization ISRO, is aiming to take its reusable launch vehicle, RLV Technological Development Program to the next level. LEX-3, which is expected to launch next month, will represent a major advancement since it will add additional sensors, possibly even a payload, to the scaled RLV model. The previous RLVLX flight successes are being built upon with this mission. The accomplishment of RLVLX-01 last year set the stage for future growth. Next, RLVLX-02 concentrated on improving autonomous landing performance, especially in difficult circumstances. At a height of 4.5 kilometers, the Indian Air Force Chinook helicopter carrying the test vehicle, called Pushpak, was lowered. Pushpak was launched 4 kilometers off the assigned runway in order to simulate a launch. Using its onboard technologies, the vehicle accurately landed on the runway despite these dispersions by performing cross-range corrections on its own. LX-3 will push the boundaries even further. The inclusion of additional sensors and a potential payload will allow ISRO to gather even more critical data. This data will be instrumental in the development of a larger RLV platform, paving the way for a fully reusable launch vehicle in the future. That's all from YKS team for now. If you like the information, then please do share and give a like. Thanks for watching.